and at the power forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Spurs. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. And so here's Charlotte. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Walker the pass to Monte Yunus. He kicks it to Lynn. And there's the feet to hit it. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Marquette Jefferson will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. And Anderson gets it to go. Tim Duncan, even in his advanced years, showing you that great vision and still getting it done. Nice pass. Never with the screen. Walker dishes to Lynn. At six, Hibbert with the screen. Fires for three. Cannot hit. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Now they've been outstanding on the board, and it's a big reason why they've got a lead. Doing the dirty work down low. We call that a collabo because everybody boxing out and making sure they secure the ball. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Lynn kicks to Hibbert. And it's Walker penetrating. And the foul goes on the Magician. And that'll be his third foul so far. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that. And the Hornets making a change here. Five pounds just changed. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Checking out the game on a Eunice has been having. 16 points, and he's added to his numbers by hitting four shots from the three-point line. And, and really now, you can tell that they're starting to have second thoughts in terms of how they're going to play him. That's 12 points from long range. Anderson outside. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. From Green, shot's good. And the Spurs lead by 11. Add another triple to their second half total. It came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. Now, here's Walker. Never with the screen. Walker the pass to Bogdanovich. Page back. Rebound, San Antonio. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back. Couldn't get it to fall. down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Hornets trail by 12. Here's Bonnie Yunus, stolen by Ginobili. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Anderson with the ball. And it's Green, missing. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Now, how did he manage to change his shot midair? That free throw good from Anderson. Here's Walker. Pass to Hibbert. Off the run. That ball. Walker's got six assists here tonight. Spurs leading by 13. Anderson. And the shot is good. Anderson's got 12 now in this quarter. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting the ball in the paint like this. Hibbert with the screen. There's Bob Donovich. No good from outside. 
Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. Gotta be demoralizing. They desperately needed a stop, and instead, they give up a triple on an open look. And so he draws the foul on the shot, not trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses Going getting the, the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after, after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. No good on the second free throw. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. And it's green. Listen. Well defended, though. And, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. And Walker kicks to Hibbert. There's the screen. Outside for two. Real good on the three. Spurs leading by 17. It's Anderson with the drive. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Really an extraordinary game for Anderson. He's got 24 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. Excellent defensive presence on the glass and delivering some of that shot-blocking skill, too. Uh, he has really just owned the paint. Well-rounded performance. Now, here's Walker. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Some changes for Charlotte. Kaminsky comes in for Monte Yunus, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Nicholas Batu. San Antonio's gotten three of their six three pointers to fall here in the fourth. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Spurs. I agree, Steve, and this is a game where the defense, you know, Clark Steele specifically, generating a lot of opportunities and it created extra possessions for him too kevin scoring opportunities they cashed in on and that effort a big part of what will be a nice victory tonight and for the year now they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. really they had their number this season two shots gentlemen a home win and an away win two. yeah you know i thought the result might be a little different this time around but clearly i was mistaken and now they'll have to wait till next year for a shot at revenge. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Anderson. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Tyler Hansbrook checked in for him. And it's Ross in for Bogdanovich. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Didn't take their time in wrapping this game up. They came out with the sense of Nice ending spurt to polish it off. Once they had him on the rope, they started throwing haymakers at him. I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mills dishes to Diaw. Launches a three. The rebound by Hansberg. Last game for the Charlotte Hornets. It was a loss to the Wizards. Diaw with the steal. Here's Bellinelli. And it's blocked. So it's San Antonio, easily taking this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now we'll head over to the studio with Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's move on to our Jordan Player of the Game. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him. And down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. 
In terms of individual rebounding, he had a game that will be remembered for a long, long time. Whether it's chasing down long rebounds or grabbing one in traffic or one-handed rebounds, he was going after them and corralling all of them. There was nothing they could do to slow him down, Larry. Man, going to a building on the road and completely control the action like he did, only a few players could do that, Ernie. I'm impressed. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.